First of all, they're writing in her regular column in Stylist magazine this week. Journalist Dawn Porter revealed that after her boyfriend moved in, they agreed her pink girly bedroom would remain exactly as it was. However, it wasn't long until a big, grey golf club arrived next to the bed. She had to remind him that they'd agreed his sports equipment would remain in the garage. So in our homes, are we happy to have a bit of blokiness around? What do you think, Sam? Well, I wouldn't know, Fiona. Um, it's been a You've long time. little boy, I've, well, Yeah, but he's not big and blokey, is he well, yet? He <laughs> he's be. just mess and footballs all over the place. But no, uh, my house, I have to say, I've been five years now uh, not living with a man. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you mean that. No, I don't mean that. And I have a pink fridge. I know, as oh, ridiculous as it sounds, one of those, and I, big. One of those big things. Um, mm. And my house, I suppose, has got very girly. Although I'm not that girly. I think I've got a sequin cushion as well on my, on my bed upstairs. But so not really. I haven't got the, um, I haven't really got a man to come and live with me and make a mess. Although having said that, computer-wise and things like that, I wouldn't mind a man coming over and fiddling with me Wi-Fi. Oh. <laughs> You don't need anything more girly if you've got a pink fridge. No, not really. I know, I turning mean, all Jordan. Who has a pink... It is, it's so <laughs> Katie Price. But when you, have, when you have gentleman callers... Gentlemen call. Yes, you know yes. what I mean. Yes. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I mean, well, do they ever leave anything behind by accident? The you know. Um, do you mean random... No, but I, no, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you know what? I said, do you mean random punters? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got to say, though, I yeah. do have to say that the last person that stayed over at my house and um, was, I jumped into bed thinking, well, hey, let's get it on. And he, he says, excuse me, um, do you have a hanger? Oh. I was like, oh. sorry? Oh, that's and nice. he hung his clothes up. That's lovely. <laughs> that's lovely. That lovely. That lovely. That's lovely. What you should have said, Carol. Zoe, what you should have said I'm is, while you're the there, floor. would you hang mine up as well? I do some, <laughs> I do some ironing while you're yeah. at it, babe. Yeah, Carol, yeah. what you, single girl for so long, you've yeah. finally settled down. Yep. And is it nice having a bit of blokiness around on a permanent basis? Well, do you know what? It, it kind of rescued me in a way in my, in my flat because I've had the same furniture since about 1980. <gasps> Honestly, and my sofa, I've, I've said it on the show before, it was so old and it was so rotten. I had to, I had to literally throw it away because it went a bit mouldy because it would spilt lots oh. of things and it wasn't very nice. But anyway, so Mark turned up just in time. But I have to say... My flat is like a bloke's flat now. If you walk in there, because his sofa was like a big black leather sofa. Why do blokes always have big black leather sofas? Wow. <laughs> you can ask. I mean, it's huge. And he's got this massive telly. Blokes always have big tellies, a don't they? Yeah. Inch, is I it? think if they can't drive, they have a big telly. <laughs> yeah, but you know why? Yeah, because they have big, big everything, don't yeah. they? And so the, the bigger they are, the more they can imagine. Big telly, there's <laughs> like black furniture everywhere, wow. black sofa. It does look like a bloke's flat, but I, I don't mind because I'm, I, I can't be bothered with all that stuff. So as long as I've got something to sit on, I don't really care yeah. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You see, my, I've got three blokes in my house. My husband, who when I left today had his hose out. I've sometimes... Did he? Oh, had his hose out. <laughs> <laughs> but he was doing lovely things with his hose. I'll, te I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> he's often bored at the moment, but he's around a lot more now, so he's got all his stuff everywhere. I came down this morning and he goes to bed a lot later than I, and I'm banging on the ceiling like Mrs Rochester going turn the volume down <laughs> and I often go and he's going to kill me for saying this but I don't know what he does down there but I often find his socks his jeans yeah. all where he's left them that but night you should be so used to that by now you've been together what nearly 20 years or yeah, something yeah but at first it's endearing and you think well, look yeah, at his it's little still cute socks to me. and his you mean, you mean then... first the untidiness is in endearing yeah. Yeah. Do you mean yeah like the bad habits like Absolutely. Mark probably has bad habits doesn't he no so no no I've stopped them all <laughs> <laughs> sorry Carol oh, sorry oh what? Yeah, no no I told no I make oh, him cut his toenails on the balcony now no I don't <laughs> yeah it's so not, does he not actually doing sleep that. on the balcony now no 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 you no. haven't shut him out in a kennel no it's not that bad no no he is he is he is quite messy he does he does I do tend to still find socks everywhere yeah, but yeah. the one thing that drives me mad about him is, and it, I don't know it must be a bloke thing 
It's it's a lid thing. He lid. can't he can't put lids back on anything. That's and weird. instead of putting the lids back on, like you know, the deodorant can, the toothpaste, but anything, he throws the lid in the bin so he doesn't have to put the lid back on. <laughs> so well, let me tell you something. What is that all about? Mark could leave my lid off any time he wants. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. You can take but, it off anyway. But you see, Cheryl, oh, yeah. your house is very it's very light, it's very pale colours. You yeah, wouldn't want is. a bloke interfering with that. No, well I haven't had a bloke, um, literally. Uh, for quite a long time so I don't know what I do with him one and also I won't want him in my house what about that one who comes out of the wardrobe and sits on your bed in the middle of the night that's a different thing altogether <laughs> but if it was Johnny Depp he could bring a tank in yeah. Yeah. and I wouldn't Maybe care would mind. you I don't care what Johnny, Johnny Depp is in, but it would be very hard to bring anything because, you know, men, men have different smells, don't they? And I'm not sure I want that smell coming into my house. I agree with you, actually. And they don't look the same when they take the clothes off, so I'd have to get used to that again, you know, with yeah. the dangly bits and things. And I'm not sure. You're getting used to it all right, I did. Oh, hey, boy. <laughs> yeah, but you're still in the first flush of all that, yeah. you know, aren't you? Yeah, yeah you two are. years. It's yeah, that's quite a long that's time. That's still young. That's still young. Oh, Wait till yeah. it starts right. putting the lids back on, then you're in trouble. Yeah, wait till it <laughs> How can you, how can you do the ketchup without a lid on? Because you need to shake the ketchup, no, don't you? Right. you I get out of the fridge and go like that, and, and it's all over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Good job your flat's not nicely decorated, then, isn't well, it? It's not, sound, no, it's not. It's not. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, if you're keen to add your thoughts or stories to our topics today, get online where you can explore our new look website and add your comments to the daily banter. Plus, if you're a fan of the West End, then we've got an exclusive behind the scenes interview with hairspray star Michael Ball where he reveals which loose woman would make the best Edna Turnblad. <laughs> All you have to do is go to itv.com forward slash loose women. And we are going to take a break.